Hello friends, this video on human reproduction part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. First phase that is menstruation is followed by the second event that is the follicular phase. Now what happens after uh, the endometrium breaks? Now we understood that okay the endometrium break, broke and that is why the there was bleeding through the vaginal opening. But what after that? What is going to happen next? Because the endometrium again needs to build up. So now what is going to be the very next step? So next is the follicular phase. Now the name itself says that it has something to do with the follicles. So let us see what happens here. So let us see what happens in the follicular phase. So the events that take place in the follicular phase are follicular growth that is the growth of the follicles now where do we have these follicles just to remind you when i talk about the follicles i am always talking about the ovary the follicles are present inside the ovary you remember the primary follicle then secondary then tertiary then graphical graphene follicle and then the graphene follicle ruptured to form the what to form the eggs Right? That is how ovulation occurred. So here again, after uh, the process of menstruation, again some follicular growth is going to take place. We will see what happens there. Regeneration of endometrium. So during menstruation, the endometrium broke down. But now again, it has to rebuild itself. So that rebuilding of the endometrium is called regeneration of endometrium. So this will also happen as a part of the follicular phase. Secretion of LH and FSH. LH and FSH are the luteinizing hormone and the follicle stimulating hormone. So these hormones will also play a very important role. And what role is that? We will see that. So these are some of the things which will take place after menstruation as a part of the follicular phase. And finally, ovulation. So ovulation is will happen in the follicular phase. Now try to understand this. First is menstruation. Now it is all cyclic, right? As I said, ovulation will happen after 14 days, menstruation will happen. So again, when once menstruation is done, again it will be followed by ovulation, right? So it is a cyclic process. So nothing is before, nothing is after. So when you say uh, the first step is menstruation, so if I consider menstruation as the first step, then obviously I will say that ovulation will happen after that. Right? I hope you are getting my point. For example, if I say that these are the two, three colors, red, green and blue. If I say that the first color is red, then I will say green comes after red. Right? But if I say green is the first color, then red comes after green. Right? So it is whenever you talk about a cyclic process, it is all about which one are you considering as the first step because it is all cyclic. So everything will keep on happening one after another. So here we have considered that menstruation is the first step. So in the next step that is follicular phase, what will happen? The broken endometrium will start building up. LH and FSH hormones will get secreted and ovulation will happen. Again ovulation will happen. Again later uh, menstruation will also happen because that is how the cyclic process has to go on. So now let us talk about the follicular phase first where we first talk about the follicular growth. So what kind of growth happens in this phase? Now the follicular growth occurs inside the ovary. So from where it starts? It starts from the primary follicle. You remember the primary follicle which was formed. Now when this follicular growth takes place, the growth actually, this growth starts once the female reaches her puberty and then it keeps on happening in every cycle because the growth of the follicle is a part of the egg formation right every time ovulation has to take place an egg has to be formed only when an egg is formed it will be released out of the ovary and for an egg to form the follicular growth has to take place this is very simple right so what is that follicular growth the primary follicle which will later form secondary follicle and how this formation takes place. Inside you have the primary oocyte which gets surrounded by layer of cells. Secondary follicle means more layers of cells. That is how a secondary follicle. Then tertiary follicle means even more layers of cells. So that is how tertiary follicle will form. This tertiary follicle will later mature to form a graphene follicle. And if you look inside, what is there inside? 
in inside the primary secondary and tertiary follicle was present the primary oocyte but by the time the tertiary follicle mature into graafian follicle by that time the primary oocyte also undergo meiosis to form secondary oocyte and the secondary oocyte also undergo the meiosis too to form the ovum that is the egg and this ovum gets released when the graafian follicle ruptures so the graafian follicle ruptures and the egg is released so what this one this region is ovary and this region is the fallopian tube so what happens when the uh, ovary uh, i mean when the egg is going to be released these ends of the fallopian tube which has finger like projections they try to push the egg into the uh, fallopian tube so now as soon as the egg is released we say that ovulation has taken place now the question is what happens after ovulation now the process doesn't stop even inside the ovary even after ovulation the remains of the graafian follicle forms another structure called corpus luteum and this process also keeps on continuing so this entire process of egg formation which started from the primary follicle then secondary then tertiary and then finally the graafian follicle this process also keeps on happening every month so this process also keeps on happening every 20 days right so when this process happens only then a egg an egg is released and when an egg is released only then the uterus starts preparing itself now as i mentioned the uterus prepares itself so how the uterus prepares itself by thickening of endometrium so that is what we will see now that how i mean what helps the uterus to thicken its endometrium now we have to understand for that the role of hormones in follicular growth so what do the hormones do now follicular growth is stimulated by secretion of gonadotropin hormones that is the luteinizing hormone and the follicle stimulating hormone the name itself is follicle stimulating so these hormones will act on the ovary and they will uh, activate the uh, follicle growth so they will activate the primary follicle to change into secondary the secondary follicle to change into tertiary so it will activate that process so if that process gets activated the egg formation will get activated so ovulation will get activated now the question is who releases these hormones now we all know that these hormones are released by anterior pituitary gland now who tells the anterior pituitary gland to release these hormones so the instruction given to the anterior pituitary gland is by the hypothalamus so the instruction to the anterior pituitary is given by the hypothalamus so if you see here this one is the hypothalamus and this hypothalamus instructs the anterior pituitary to secrete these hormones and then these hormones act on the ovary and they then influence the secrete they then influence the influence or stimulate the process of follicular growth now the secretion of lh reaches a peak value during the middle of the menstrual cycle now when i say menstrual cycle i am not talking about the process of menstruation i am talking about the entire cycle so at the middle of the cycle the secretion of lh reaches its peak and when it reaches its peak what happens breakdown of the graafian follicle occurs at that point so whenever the lh level increases too much now when the lh secretion just starts the follicular growth starts so primary follicle to secondary secondary to tertiary tertiary to graafian follicle but then the level reaches its peak the hormone level reaches its peak and at that time the graafian follicle does not grow further into some other follicle rather it ruptures and when the graafian follicle ruptures what happens ovulation takes place because the egg is released from the ovary and that process is called ovulation so the release of ovum from ovary is termed as ovulation so now you understand the role of hormones in the follicular growth because in follicular growth ovulation happens ovulation happens due to the follicular growth follicular growth is influenced by the hormones and the hormones are secreted by anterior pituitary which in turn is controlled by the hypothalamus so that is the entire story right okay so this is one thing Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.